Years real quick, talk about your stable mate and uh, Oshaki Foster. Also has a, a chance for the WBC title at 130 versus Ray Vargas. Right. Man, talk to us about that. That Just that situation, uh, both of y'all being trained by Bobby and both his guys, his top guys, are now up for championships after waiting for so long. Tell me how that feels. That feels great, bro. I mean, I feel... Listen, I feel better about shop getting a fight than I am, you know, because right. I was already a champion, you know what I'm saying? So, of course, I want to do it again, but shop deserved that, bro. Like, shop is cold. Like, I, everybody, I be telling, every telling everybody about shop. Even, like, it's just like, you know, he just not known, you know? Yeah. And then, so I was on Twitter. I go back and forth with the people from Twitter all the time, and I put that shop the best at 130. And some, of course, people were uh, tweeting and all kinds of stuff. Who is this guy? Who is this guy? Then Shakur said it. Shakur was like, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Shock is cold, and then I I, re, I reposted his stuff, and then they was like, oh, all right, you know, because it's a lot of people don't know about him, but like Shock is Shock the truth, bro. Like I did a lot of rounds with Shock, bro, and Shock cold. So um, I feel like he the best at one thirty in the world. It's nobody gonna beat. Uh, it's not. It's nobody gonna be Shock in the world. Speaking of Shock, how you feel about this fight against his opponent? He's, yeah, he's well, going against a tough, a tough, that's a tough that's fighter, a tough right? Man. Yeah, I, I think Shot gonna pull it off, but that is. I never saw the dude fight. I'm not gonna lie. I never saw the dude fight. Ray Park right. is great enough from 126, yeah. but he's not your not your uh, uh That's his. Yeah. Uh, they train him in Mexico. Yeah. All right, yeah, yeah. I mean, listen, I never saw him. It's for me. It's hard to go. It's hard to go against Shock, bro. Just because of his his skills and stuff like that. Like, bro, I spar with Shock all the time. Yeah. I'm 40. You know, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm I say I'm 40. I fight at 140. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I I know. How good Shock is and how, how hard it is to hit him and stuff like that. You know, like Shock definitely one of the best people I ever spoke. I've heard you say that before. I was just about to mention that. I've heard you say that uh, Shakur and Shock is the toughest spawn that you've ever had before. I won't say tough. Nah, definitely not the toughest. Well, skill. you said thinking wise. Yeah, skill wise. Mm -hmm. skill, no, no, listen, I'm going to tell you the best. The best person I probably ever faced in the ring was Ricardo Williams Jr. I don't know if y'all know Ricardo Williams. Yeah. He was a uh, Olympian. Yeah. Um, he taught me. He actually taught me how to be a like how to fight like a southpaw, bro. He was like amazing. He was. I think he was. Um, yeah, he was a a silver medalist or something like that. You know, he got a lot of bread early. You know, you know how that story goes yeah. or whatever. But that was probably like the best person I ever spoke. But yeah, like as far as Shock Shakur. I mean, them dudes are just, you know, just, they, they, they just so good. They real, real good. But of course, Ricardo Williams was, was top. How you feel about the, uh, I mean, you've been, you've been in Savannah. I know you came here from New Orleans during the hurricane and all that. And you've been stationed here in Houston. For, talk to us about the talent that, that's in Houston now. You got Fulton, you got Shakur living out here. You got mm -hmm. just everybody, right? Everybody listen, bro, it's something that's, I ain't got, listen, so, my people might get mad at me, right? But I'm a, I'm from New Orleans. Yeah. But I'm a Texas fighter. Yeah. I gotta say it. Yeah, I'm yeah, from yeah. New Orleans, but I am a Texas fighter. I learn my craft out here. It's just so many killers out here. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what it is. It's a big city, whatever it is, bro. But I'm like it's just it's just out here. We got so many it's just so many good people out here in Texas. And just we not even talking about the state of Texas. We talking about in Houston. Just in the Houston yeah, area. We got Houston. so many good like real Dawn good Price. fighters, bro. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Dawn Price. And people like a lot of people don't even know about like just our gym is just packed, you know, yeah, and main, just main, yeah, main is just packed with just real, real good work. We got so many people coming up, so um, yeah, bro, I'm just I'm happy about that, bro. That's that's the reason I never moved back home, like, cause I, you know, I love boxing. I want to be the best boxer, and for me, it's just being around. You, you know, got a lot of southpaws to spar too. A lot of southpaws, bro. Like my gym, full of. We don't have to go nowhere for no work. We don't have to call nobody. Like, it, it's all in house. Yeah, you do have a lot of different styles. That's what Shock did because Bobby teaches, you know, the way he teaches, but everybody in that gym has a different style of fighting. Right, talk, right, talk right. to me about Bobby, though, because being in Houston and you got all these top trainers, you got Ronnie Shields here, mm -hmm. you have uh, uh, Jay Prince, you got all the trainers of Jay Prince boxing, right. but then you got main boxing with Bobby. That's probably the best gym in Houston. Right, talk right, to right. us about how it feels to be in Maine and, and, and training upon the uh, well, listen, playing. listen, bro. Bobby is like a very, very important part of the piece, and and why? Because Bobby gonna do everything possible, bro. Like that's that's one, like for me, like Bobby just it, he just super important because he gonna I can call Bobby right now. He gonna be there for you. Like he very, very like like Bobby, bro. Like I'm like old oh, time. Oh, it's five fifty. Hey, let's train at like six thirty. He be like, all right, all right, bud. He'll come over here. And he training, bro. Like that's it. he just like he just with it, bro. And like he is for me. It's is I've been I've been with a few trainers or whatever, and nobody is not gonna be like nobody gonna be there like Bobby. You know what I'm saying? And we gonna just work, and that's just how he is. He runs with us and all that. Like Bobby's 
favorite fighters, Marvin Hagler. So the people that trained him was the Petronellis. And the Petronellis was the same thing with Hagler. They would run with him. they do everything with him. And for me, that's how Bobby is. Like, Bobby just, he's going to be there. He's very, very reliable. And, you know, he just, he going to do everything. And he wants it just as bad as, just as bad as I do. You know, and he, like I said, he going to be there. And so he a hundred with it. You got another uh, fighter in your camp. Um... Uh Ray Talib, Ailey Fali, they right. just joined your, your your stable last year. He with Bobby also. Talk to us about his growth. How you feel like he's coming? Man, he's been growing a lot, bro. You know, he's been growing a lot. At first, he came over. You know, he was he he, he wasn't limited in his um, athletic ability. You know, he was just limited in his skill. And now he's been training with us and stuff like that. He's just growing, growing, growing. I spoke with him. Ah, uh, I think I spoke with him about. A, no, I was in the was two weeks. So I spoke with him about two and a half. Yeah, three weeks ago or something like that. And I, mean, I was like, damn, like Ray Shark, because he was supposed to fight. He was just supposed to fight. I just yeah. commented on the fight last week or whatever, and he was supposed to fight. So I was like, yeah, I told Bobby, like, yeah, he's sharp. You know, he's sharp right now. And I told him some tips, bro. Like, for me, um, and boxing is a hard, a very, very hard sport, bro. Boxing, just to, like, break into six figures is, most people not going to do that. It's just, it's just pure. But for me, I want to see, I want to see everybody around me. I want to see them get to that. Like six figures is hard to break into. Now seven figures, that's even harder to break into. But I want, I want to see that happen. So I want, I want to tell everybody as much as they can. So I tell them, bro, like, look, this was gonna work. You need to fight like this. You need to do this. And I, you know, I, I share whatever, I, whatever I can. But I'm not one of the people like I'm gonna be a hater or nothing like that. I'm not. I'm gonna try to keep things for myself. No, bro, like me, I want to see y'all win. I want to see everybody in my gym win. If I know you can do it, like I want to see y'all win. I'm gonna just, you know, I'm not gonna hold no information i know i'm gonna tell y'all everything i know and then and the thing is the more i tell you that i know you gonna get better and guess what you gonna make me better right mm -hmm. so um yeah bro ray ray like ray is real good and um i just can't i want to see him I, I can't wait to see his career unfold and like um he be the best he can be so yeah. back to speak, well, well, like, real quick like, speaking like, of, of fighters here in houston you got quinn randall right so He's just coming into his own. He got the WBC silver title, and he's moving up in the ranks. And this is somebody you've spoiled, somebody you've been around for a while. Mm -hmm. What you think about Quentin and his? Same his thing, Quentin Cole too. You know what I'm saying? And we, I talk to all these guys, bro. Like for me, um, I'm not. I told you I'm not gonna be one of the guys to where like I'm gonna be cut off and you're not gonna talk to me. Like, I talk to them, bro. You come to my crib, or whatever. We play basketball and all that together. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all the ropes and stuff. And um, Q is cold too. You know, he hit me up and stuff. Like he want. Fight on my undercard for this fight. I'm like, yeah, bro. I'm, I'm telling the people, like, hey, put him on there. You know, I'm, if people hit me up, tell them, like, hey, put them on there. Put them on it. This is the people I want to fight on my undercard. But, yeah, Q is cold, bro. Q super cold, too. Real good skills. Um, I can't wait to, like I said, I can't wait to all these dudes, bro. Like, that's like the the next, you know, the next generation yeah. coming up. I just, you know, I want, I want to see him. So, November 26th. Man, talk to us about that performance. What can we expect from you? I'm gonna just do me, bro. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna go out there have fun. Um, that's all, bro. Just do me, have fun, go out there, and you know I want to become a two-time world champion. That's that was my goal, bro. I stayed at one forty to to do that to become a two-time world champion. You know I could have, I could have went to forty-seven a long time ago, and people say I could have made more money and stuff. But it's like, bro, I had my goals and I bet on myself, and now I'm here. Now I'm fighting for the belt again, and I just like I said, bro, I just can't wait for it. Mac, you got anything else? Man, I'm good. You know, it's been a good one. We always yeah. have a good one. Yeah. 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 You got to check your own coming to us. Okay. Tell us where we can find you at. Uh, Instagram, at Regis um at our program and that we got the YouTube well yeah Regis program yes, sir. Regis program official TikTok. oh the what's my TikTok? I don't even know my TikTok. I got somebody Regis program Regis program one two four something like that yeah. yes sir thank you for your time Regis